everyone. Welcome back. So we just finished our waistband. Super cute. And you can see Santa's little pants happening right now. This is so adorable. So now we're going to work on these suspenders. And let me zoom in here for you. So what we are, what I did is I found the middle. So this is my middle stitch right here. And then I counted four over. So four chains over from the middle stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. And I marked the fourth stitch. Okay, so oh, I'm sorry, right now you're going to need four stitch markers. So pause the video and get four stitch markers. And then I will meet you back here. But for those that have some, let's continue. So I found the middle stitch and then I just counted four chains over. That's one, two, three, four. I marked the fourth one, okay? So all you do is, because we're going to do the suspender, so you start on one side and then you work your way around to the other. I insert my hook in the stitch that I marked, in the chain that I marked, and then I just insert it behind, okay? So then with the one behind, I put a chain marker in that one as well. You see that? So we're going to do it on this side and let me make sure that I have my markers here. Okay. So here's the middle stitch. So I just count four over. One, two, three, four. And I mark that one. And I like to use yarn for my chain markers. It's a lot easier for me. So I just mark that one right there. And then your pants are probably already folded. So all you do is get your hook, put it through the one you just marked, and then put it through the one behind it. You see that? So this is the chain that you're going to mark as well. Okay, right there. So then get your stitch marker, yarn over, and lock that on there like that. Okay, so you should have four markers. One, two, three, four. Now let's begin our suspenders. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is insert your hook into the first chain. It doesn't matter whichever one you want to start on. That's totally fine. Um, I am starting on the back of the pants, and then I'm going to work my way forward and then back around. Okay, so insert your hook into the chain that's marked. Grab your red color or whatever color you're making the pants. Yarn over, pull through, and then you're going to lock that on there like that, okay? And now you can take this one out. And what we're going to do is chain 40. So you already have one on there. So go ahead and chain 39, and I will meet you back. Okay, so I have my chain 40 here, and now all I'm going to do is slip stitch into the first, the chain marked on the other side. The only chain marked on the other side, on the same side, right here. Okay, so you insert your hook. I'm gonna take this marker out. And only take the marker out after you've inserted your hook. <laughs> I've done that several times when I take the marker out first and then I have no idea what chain I'm supposed to be in there. <laughs> so all you're going to do is slip stitch here just to lock that on like that. Okay. 
And now what you're going to do is, okay, so it's kind of hard to orient this, but what I did is just, so this is the front of the pants and I just put it on its side and I kind of turned the stitch around. You want to first make sure that you are, you're, we're gonna put half double crochets in here, okay? So you wanna make sure that the chain is not twisted. Okay, so you wanna make sure that the chain is flat. And let me just zoom in a little bit. So this is the right side of the chain and this is underneath. So it has like the chains underneath, okay? So this is the side that you want to be working on, right? So when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you don't twist, which it's, chances are it's not going to, but you wanna make sure that you're crocheting on the right side and not the wrong side, okay? So just keep that in mind and then all we're going to do is half double crochet in each chain, okay? So we go one, and it's always the first row, especially like this when doing handles or anything like this, that's kind of eh. So just work with it and then just put one half double crochet in each chain for a total of 40, okay? And I will meet you back on the other side. Okay, everyone, so I just completed the third row and I think that that looks really cute. Um, I'm not gonna do another row because I think that would be way too thick. So then I am going to slip stitch right here. It's just the next stitch over. And I am going to fasten this off. And I will show you now. I'm gonna get a long strand going here. I'll show you how to reinforce this. Because you don't want this cute little bag breaking. So, here is the back side of the strand. And you know you did it right if it's not twisted. Okay, so it should look something like that. Congratulate yourself, have some wine. Okay, so let's see. We are going to reinforce this here. Speaking of wine, I was going to have a live wine hour with all of my followers. Whoever would like to join me, who's up for it? <laughs> Um, leave a comment, please. I would love to have a wine hour with everyone. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. To reinforce this, all you're going to do is go back and forth like so. And you wanna go through several loops on the back side like that and then you want to go back around um let's see we will go right back through there and then right here And you want to pull it tight and then we can go right through here sometimes when you do this it there will be gaps so it's nice just to go back and go through to make sure that there are no gaps okay 
and just to make sure that it's on there. So then I'm gonna go back through here and then go up through here. I know about the wine thing, My um, I love drinking wine and my girlfriend loves drinking wine and we always talk about having our little getting together with all the other wine lovers across the world world and just having a, like a wine chat. I think that would be really fun. But I don't know if anyone would be interested in that. If you are, just leave a comment and I will definitely get that going, no problem. But back to this, you see what you see what I my mind's on is a glass of wine. <laughs> You see, uh, what I'm doing here is just weaving everything through, just so it does not come out, okay? Because, you know, you get some bags and the handle breaks, and you're like, what's up with that? So I think that's very good. That is on there tight. So I'm just going to weave this back through again. And then I'm going to cut this and then work on the other side, reinforcing it. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to reinforce the handles as much as you like. Okay. Hey everyone. Check out the suspenders. This looks so, so cute. Um, I have connected everything. I've tucked all the loose strands through and it looks so, so cute. So now we are going to start his little belt, okay? And this is super, super easy to do. Let me zoom in there. So you're going to want to take, I'm using um, the black yarn, so that's the color that I want his belt. You can totally make it your own if you like. Okay, but this is, we're going to start his belt now and we're going to chain three. So that's one, two, and three. And I know this is black and it's kind of hard to see, so I'm sorry but we're going to skip this first chain and we're going to double crochet in the second chain, like so. And then we're going to double crochet into the last chain, like so. And then we're going to chain one, turn, and then all we're going to do is put two double crochets on the top of the previous double crochets. So that's one double crochet and two double crochets. And then chain one and turn. And then one double crochet and two double crochets. And you just continue that pattern of chaining one, turn, one double crochet, and two double crochets. And you wanna repeat this until the length is 20 inches, okay? So we're going for 20 inches. So go ahead and continue this pattern. It is just a chain one. You turn, one double crochet, and another double crochet, okay? So continue that. And just make the length 20 inches and I will meet you back. Okay, everyone, so I just finished this and it does measure 20 inches. So now I am going to fasten off and 
tuck in all the loose ends, okay? And I will meet you when we are done. Okay, everyone, I just finished the belt and it's really, really cute. I tied in all the loose ends. Now we're gonna work on the buckle and it's super, super simple, okay? So all you do is make your slip knot like so and then your five millimeter hook and you are going to chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you're going to double crochet in the sixth chain from the hook, okay? So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So right there, you just count back six chains and you're gonna double crochet in that one. Like so. And then you're going to chain one. And then you're going to double crochet in the first chain, which is right here. Okay, so just stick your hook in there. And then we have our belt buckle. Super easy, super cute, okay? So all you do is Make a knot. I'm going to fasten this off like so. And then tuck these in with your yarn needle and I will meet you when I'm done. Okay, everyone, we are almost done. How exciting. So here's a little bell buckle that I just did and here's the belt, and here are the pants. So I'm starting on the back, okay? And you can do this to your liking, but this chain three row that we did, we're going to weave the belt through that, okay? So all you do is take your belt, let me make sure, I can't even tell, so I guess that's a good thing. And I have, this is the back seam. So I'm in the back, I'm just gonna go through these three loops right here. And again, you can do this however you like, but I like it because there's no more sewing or crocheting involved. So make sure that's somewhat even. more like that and then I'm going to on the side right here just put the belt through these two like so see that and then they're like real belt buckles I'm gonna put this through these two right here so you see what I'm doing? I'm just tucking it through the chain threes. Okay, the triple th crochets. So now we're gonna turn it over and let's see here. I'm going to put this one like this. Oh my God, this is so cute. And then I'll put this one underneath here, I guess. Okay. And then put this one underneath here, like so. <laughs> How? cute is that and then you take your belt buckle okay 
So you weave it through one, and then you just go to the other side like that. <laughs> that is so cute, you guys. Oh my God. Look at how cute that is. And then you just tuck this in here like so. And we are done. And I was thinking this is cute too. That is so cute. Let me zoom out here so you can see. Um, this is really cute for I can a lot. So you could put the little jars. I make uh, jam, all kinds of jam. You could put jars of jam. You could put wine. You could put candles. It's so, so cute. Um, but thank you so much. This was definitely a journey. And I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, let me flip this around so you can see the back. It's so cute. But if you like my videos, please, please subscribe. I love doing this. This is one of my passions. Um, I also have a lot of giveaways. So if you guys want free stuff, please subscribe. I hope you like my videos. All comments are welcome. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope everyone is doing well.